Alright, so in this video, I am going to teach you guys how to increase your max energy in a semi-AFK method. And it's going to be using a pearl shop item using the bookshelf. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, you can buy houses in this game and you can have furniture. Now, you pick any piece of furniture, it doesn't really matter. I have the Calfion marble and gold and you go to a furniture set. Now you do not have to buy the entire furniture set. You can actually press right on the D-pad and you can pick individual items. And like the drawers raise luck and uh, dining table raises gathering. Uh, this uh, chair uh, increases the MP recovery speed and you know all kinds of stuff. Well this bookshelf what this bookshelf does is it actually allows your character to sit there and read a book and get extra smart. Now what this does is you gain knowledge and every piece of knowledge you get goes into this. And it can be any piece. You can get character knowledge, you can get, you know, on MP NPCs and you can learn you know the people and you know if you discover this one for example uh, my energy will go up and I'll have two of two of that of that region or you can get a piece of ecology and you know you can go imps and let's see look I got s rank in a lot of them but I still need imp defense tower imp altar stuff like that and if I get a increase in rank in any of those things like you see in the top left there it says grade s is 10 points grade a plus is 5 points and then for how high your ecology goes you get an increased global drop rate now that's forever that's permanent so that's a very good thing to work towards um, but but what we're really aiming for in this video is the max energy pool and so how we do all this is you find a city that you want to have a house in that you're going to have a lot of your alts in some people pick high dell because it's a very central point to where all the content is right now some people like kelfion some people like altanova and some people like Valencia City. I personally pick Olvia, which is like a ghost town all the time. But I pick Olvia because in my last video I explained that right here I'm making a lot of money and we need energy for that. So we will go to Purchase House and you want to look for a house that has one contribution like if you pick seven four you could see your residence requires two contribution points i know off the top of my head seven three is actually only one contribution point so what we'll do is we'll get a house here proceed the next step and press x we now have olvia seven three that is the house right here that i'm standing at so what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, press triangle on the door, walk up here, uh, let's back up a little bit, press up on the D-pad and you'll go into place mode. You click the bookshelf that you bought, or you can even buy the bookshelf from this menu as well, and you place it wherever you want. You can place it in front of the window if you want. I'm not that rude. I want my neighbors to watch me read books so I can flex on them, and we install it exit place mode and what you do here is you just walk up to it and you hold triangle on it now you'll see at the bottom it says reading 3600 seconds and so that is one hour every one hour your character will gain a piece of knowledge this piece of knowledge is completely random and it can be anything uh, that exists in the game so let's say you're a new player and you're only you've only made it to high dell so far but you see this video and you take up this bookshelf project um, you can actually get knowledge all the way out here in, you know, in Valencia, in Comasilv, when we get Comasilv in a couple weeks, or, you know, if you're doing this on Xbox or PC, you already have that content, and you can get knowledge from all over the world in places you can't even make it to yet. So this is a very easy way to get a lot of knowledge, and you can get one knowledge per hour for every character that you have. Now, with that being said, eh, you can see I have a ton of characters and I use a lot of these characters for this exact thing a lot of the time and you can see a lot of them are already parked in Olvia um, 
and I'm actually using my main right now. Um, but you can actually do this on all of your characters that you aren't playing. And like right now, I'm leveling uh, one of my characters at Rogues for uh, to run the Valencia One quest line. So I'm actually going to read books on my main. But if I was playing my main right now, I wouldn't be reading a book on my main, and I'd be doing it on all my other other characters. Now, when you switch characters you actually have to do it through this menu right here by pressing X. If you go to the character selection screen, change server or disconnect, all of your characters will simultaneously stop reading books. And also if you log back into a character that is already reading a book, it will keep reading a book, but the timer will reset back to the full 3600 seconds. So you don't want to re you don't want to relog into any character that you have reading a book until you get a notification now the notifications don't always come up they do a lot of the time especially when you're new to getting energy but you only get a notification when you learn a new piece of knowledge or you upgrade in rank so if you get a piece of knowledge that you already have which is highly possible you will not get that notification but if you're doing it on multiple characters like i am right now um you know every you know every hour you'll every like 30 seconds or so or however long it takes you to switch characters depending on if you have an ssd or not and if you do you know it only takes about 30 seconds a character sometimes less than that so every 30 seconds you'll get a notification saying your and you know your character's done reading that book and once that starts happening, I'll go log on the first character that I was on, start repeating, you know, go back in order and go down and start reading all the books again. And you can do this every hour that you're online, you know, I typically will do like a grind session. And if you ever get lost, all you got to do is go press this and you can actually find the house that you bought and press square. And then it'll auto path you right to that house. And like, so I'll go out to Rogues, for example, or Crescents or another place and I'll grind for an hour. And then during my bank trip, I'll go back and read all my bookshelves. And I, that's just how I kind of operate. I got in a habit of making sure that all of my characters are always reading bookshelves. It's, it's insanely easy energy grind and it just becomes a part of my game, to be honest. Uh, that's how I plan on hitting, you know, 400 some energy at some point and how I'm going to continue to get my ecology up because I'm really too lazy to go out in the real world and trace down all the monsters to get the S rank on everything. So I'm going to get a lot of my knowledge doing this method and I highly recommend it and also max out your character slots for multiple reasons. In my last video, if you watched it, uh, you'll see we use... We use energy to make money. You use multiple characters to read books. There's just so many good reasons to have multiple characters. One thing to note though, is if you notice all of my characters are level six. If they are below level five, you will not be able to switch them automatically using this screen. And it'll make you go out to the character selection screen or disconnect or whatever in order to log on to that character. And it'll always be that way until that character hits level 5 or 6. So I just get mine to level 6, and then I can use them for this method. So just make sure you level your characters up beyond level 1. You can't just, like, make a level 1 and run it out. But getting level 6 literally requires killing, like, 30, 30 gray wolves in the starting zone. So it's, it's very straightforward. And all you're really going to want to do is just keep cycling through your alts. And once you get to the end, you know, you could go back on your main, again, go farm, do whatever you were doing, farm, you know, some money, and after that hour, you just go back, start at the first character, rinse and repeat, and, you know, before you know it, you'll be pushing really high max energy levels, you know, and if you have any other questions or comments, you don't understand something, feel free to drop it in the comments, DM me, I'll be glad to get back to you. I also join the Origin Discord. We have many members, including myself, that are constantly answering people and helping them progress. Uh, thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton. And let me know what you want to see next. I got uh, an AFK fishing video come up and a couple more. Uh, thank you for watching, and you guys take care.